But first, a shocking claim in a deadly crash. The lawyer for an off-duty cop charged with manslaughter and DUI says his client's drink may have been spiked by a stripper. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. CBS 2's Tony Aiello has the new developments. This could add up. He could have been drugged. Attorney Mario Gallucci raising an intriguing possible defense for one-time Linden police officer Pedro Abad that dancers at a Staten Island gentleman's club may have drugged him prior to a March wreck that killed two of his friends. If he was drugged, he's not responsible for the amount of alcohol he drank. If the drug itself encourages him to do that, and then he couldn't be responsible for the actual deaths. Gallucci's basing his claim on a recent case involving scores in Manhattan. Two adult entertainers busted for allegedly drugging rich men and running up huge charges on their credit cards. In Abad's case, he had two prior DUI charges. Dashcam video from one shows him barely able to talk or walk. And the night of the fatal wreck, Abad posted an Instagram of generous whiskey shots at a New Jersey pub. Still, Gallucci insists Abad was not impaired before arriving at Curves with his three friends. The manager here called the drug by a dancer theory, quote, ridiculous. Scores gets millionaires, we get blue collar guys. No one is spiking their drinks here, period. It's just a theory. But Gallucci has experts who say it's worth exploring. Thursday, a court agreed he could have access to samples of Abad's blood from the night of the accident to test for GHB and other so called date rape drugs. On Staten Island, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News.